this next color that I have on, excuse me, y'all. All right, so this next oh. color that I have on. <laughs> oh. Hey, my widow creeps. All right, so yes, I am back today. And what I'm coming today with is a lipstick video, okay? Like, you all know that I love lipstick. I'm absolutely obsessed with red lipstick, of course. And dark lips, and, okay, I just like every lip, okay? I just like everything. You all, you guys who've been around for a while, you know I just like everything. So, all right. I initially was going to do this video because I wanted to do a video on the live crime velveteens and then I thought about it I said you know what how about I just show what are my favorite things right now like the ones that I am using a lot um and often you know back to back um I wear pretty much any color lipstick that I can get my hands on it doesn't matter yellow orange purple green blue burgundy black white whatever I don't care I wear it all but I am the things that I have been been my go-to's for I'm gonna say um three to four months and when I say go-to's I mean like when I'm doing my makeup the first thing I think about is hmm what lip color do I want to wear today because I'm basing everything around it. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> but that's what I do. So let's get this party started, okay? We're going to start off with what's on my lips right now, alright? So right now I have the Lip Liner Night Moth from MAC on my lips. And then on top of it, I have a Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss, okay? I'm going to show you guys what all this looks like so yes the two things that i have on is the mac lip liner in night moth and the revlon color burst in color embellished 056 and it just comes with the little doe foot applicator and that's what i have all over right now this lip gloss actually has different reflects of it kind of puts me in the mind of the line that came out with MAC with the punk couture I cannot think of the color but it's like the purpley one well not the actual color of it but the reflects that are in it it has like purple um glitter reflects it has bronze um gold looks like a little hot pink glitter reflects in it and it's so cute like yes it looks good alone as well and you will see in the video how I'm showing you what it looks like just on my hand just coming out along as well so you can wear these together or you can wear them separate all right so the next color that I have on is max st. Germain which you all know this is like my favorite it is of course it is an amplified color and I will show you guys um what it looks like in a swatch and this is it on my lips here so St. Germain, I normally just wear it alone. I love to also wear it with Purple Rain Lip Liner. Um, I like to put gloss on top of it, just a clear one if I want a glossy look. It's very creamy, that's what I like about this lipstick. And it is most definitely one of my go-to colors. Okay, so my next color that I have applied is heroin by mac and it is a matte formula purple i like to pair it with purple rain lip liner as well they are very very similar or close in color before i got heroin i actually used to use purple rain all over my lips i just really really like the color and bam here comes heroin so this is what it looks like in the matte now this is as you can see me showing the lip gloss on my hands as well this is black radiance and the name of this color, I don't believe it actually has a name. It's just a purple one. It's, the number is 5104. It'll be in the black radius section by the lip glosses. And it's a purple in color. And I will show you how it looks being applied on my lips on top of heroin. As you can see, it gives the heroin like a nice sheen um, to it. It's not too greasy, but it brings out the purple color even more because it is pretty much the same color so it's like just adding an extra layer but with a gloss 
I absolutely love this. I have been loving this lip gloss, but I do love this lipstick. So next, I have the Forever Nude from BH Cosmetics. Um, it is a new lipstick, and I'm really not sure of the formula, but it's actually it reminds me of a amplified or it's more closer to matte than a sheen, but it's not completely matte. I absolutely love it though. It's like the perfect nude for me. And sometimes you know I be wearing my little Tyrone Bigum the lips. And this gives me a bomb good Tyrone Bigum the lips. <laughs> so yes, this is what it looks like. And um, I apply gloss on this sometimes too, but just a clear gloss, or I may use something um with like pearl, a pearl tone gloss on top of it, depending on the look that I'm going for. But I absolutely love my Tyrone Biggums, and that's what this is right here. Y'all know who Tyrone Biggums is? <laughs> it's a good. <laughs> All right, so this next color that I have on is Pink Velvet by Lime Crime, and of course. You guys know I love matte lipstick. So this being a matte, not transferring, um, all day wear type of thing, I'm absolutely obsessed with it because I hate to have to reapply. I hate to have to worry about if I have lipstick on my teeth or if it's all over the place or whatever. And of course, my normal go-to of the formula is my Kat Von D Red. And now that Lime Crom has this pink velvet. I just want to do a shout. I just want to do a dance. I just want to do, 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 do. Like, really? I Thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. Like, I love this stuff. Um, It is very, very matte, though. I will tell you that, which means that it could feel a little bit drying. But you guys know, I'm not really a... a the little things like that don't bug me. Like... As long as I know my lips ain't crusty, they just feel a little dry because I got this matte stuff on, then I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit more drying than the Kat Von D that I have. Um, but I, I love this pink color. So yeah, I'm a very much a fan of this. The packaging is really, really cute. And yeah, so you see, now it has dried on my lips. I showed you guys, you know, me putting it on. Now it has dried. Mm-hmm. Yes, baby. So, yeah, that's how it looks dry. It is the no kiss mark formula. So, yeah, you ain't got to worry about leaving it all over your boo face or on your clothes or whatever that is, whatever they may be. And that's how this looks. I love this so far. I'm a fan of it. Um, This is like one and a half coats. I'm going to say one and a half because I only dip just a little bit to put it back all over. Um, I will probably be doing two just because I really like the real velvet, velvet, velvet look. So probably going to stain my lips. So next what I'm going to go, what I'm going to go to is the Lime Crime Red Velvet. And the Red Velvet, I love it as well. But, you know, I am a fan of my Kat Von D. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys side by side. You see the side by side comparison of the colors swatch. But, what I see is that they're pretty much the same color, okay? Um, they both go on as liquid and dry matte. And the Kat Von D seems to have a little more... Um, of a blue tone to it which means makes it a little darker which is what I absolutely love about it but of course both of these can be darkened by layering so I'm gonna start off with the Lime Crime Red Velvet just because it is um, a little bit so lighter yes. alright so this is the lipstick on you see me applying it and I am really really liking this i love the fact that it is a blue tone red which means that it is darker and it gives more of a deeper type of a pigment um it's very attention getting and i as i just love it like it looks good with my blonde hair mm -hmm. yes yeah, so again this is the packaging of the lime crime and um 
you um can find this on their website or you can do like me and go on Amazon. I normally do use a lip liner with this, but I did it without the lip liner just to show you guys that it is capable of being done without lip liner. But I just use any old red. I like to use um red or red hot from NYX or any drugs store or whatever just a red that is normally a little deeper in tone than the lipstick just so I can give it a little bit more richness so yeah that is the lime crime so now we're gonna move on to the Kat Von D and I will be showing you guys what that looks like this is the packaging for it my only con to the packaging of the Kat Von D is you guys I've been having the same tube um probably about a year and a half maybe um so it was very much worth it what i do not like though is that you lose product because when you take out the applicator and you push it back in how they have it made it squeezes out product and then when you do the lid sometimes some will come out on the side so you just got to be real careful with that but this has been my favorite i love this normally when i'm going out I try to do something to where I can wear a red lip due to the fact that I know that this is going to be on all night. I don't have to worry about it smudging and being everywhere. I can, you know, have my drinks or eat my food and it's not all over the place. I may have to do a little bit of retouch if you eat something really greasy, but otherwise it's good. So now I have on the Cat Von D, not really a big difference, right? So if you weren't able to, if you're not able to get your hands on the red velvet, Cat Von D is available at Sephora and also online. And again, you can use them Sephora points to get this. So, yes, build up them points. Don't make me get all single my mail and budget on y'all. But yes, this is the Kat Von D. And this is how it looks. It also dries to the mat. And I'm just going to go ahead and end the video off with this one. Um, Yeah, because it was not even supposed to be about all these lipsticks. But I decided to share it all with y'all because these are the lipsticks that I am running to. Um with different looks that I have that I have found that are very very versatile with different eye looks and you know things like that so yeah those some of those products of course are high-end but again you guys know I do not buy high-end unless it's something that I feel like I can't find the same quality somewhere else and of course I will be mixing it with lower end I don't even know what the whole high and low end thing is, but what if? What if? Um, yeah, so that is the conclusion to that. Again, I have links below to where you can purchase those items. Um, and yeah, that's it, you guys. <laughs> so I want to say Happy New Year again to everybody. Thank you all so much for watching me in all that with this uh, lipsticks and lol. Y'all know y'all. Big, just like me. I want to thank y'all again for watching. I love you all so very much and I will see you in another video. Have a great year everyone. God bless and never be afraid to be yourself. I'll talk to y'all later. Ooh, ooh. Bye.